Bluski Gas Station Management System. Connection between fuel dispensers. CPU board wiring sequence. Connection between fuel dispensers. Connect the signal line to the converter for 85 USB. The converter is plugged into the PC host USB port. Open the software. Use Super Account to directly log into the software. The prompt is that the tank and the nozzle are not set. Just select OK. The current interface is the main interface of the software. There are no cans and nozzle set up now, so it's a blank interface. Next, we need to set up the oil tank and oil nozzle and communication. Click the Set menu in the upper left corner. Select Set the product grid to load the required oil. Select the oil you need and click Download. It will prompt that the download is successful. Click OK. Close the interface. Next, set up the tank. Click Set in the upper left corner and select Set the tank. Click New in the lower right corner of the interface to add an oil tank. The first line tank input the serial number of the tank, such as 1. In the second row product grid, click to select the oil product. The third line tank capacity input the capacity of the oil pipe, such as 2000. The fourth line tank height input the height of the oil tank, such as 2000. The fifth line high oil level sets the high oil level, such as 1800. The sixth line low oil level sets the low oil level. The seventh line probe input 100. Enter 10 in the eighth line probe min level. The ninth line probe max level input 90. Click new to save, and then close the interface. Information about the tank will appear in the list. After closing the interface, the oil tank will be displayed in the lower left corner. Click Set in the upper left corner. Select Set the Nozzle to set the nozzle. After opening the interface, Click New in the lower right corner to add an oil nozzle. The first line display seek is the serial number of the nozzle. For example, enter 1. The second line nozzle is the nozzle numbered. For example, enter 1. The third row tank is the oil tank. Click to get it automatically. The rest of the settings do not need to be changed. Just click New below to save. Then create the second nozzle. Just change the first line to 2 and the second line to 2. Then click New to save. The same operation establishes the required number of oil nozzle. In this interface, you can see the information list of all nozzle.
Then click Close in the lower right corner to close the interface. After returning to the main interface, you can see the four oil nozzle just created. Next, we have to set up the communication. First, return to the computer desktop. Right-click the computer and select Manage. Find the USB port and check the COM number behind it. Such as 13. Then go back to the software. Click Set in the upper left corner. Select Serial Port Param to set the communication port of the oil nozzle. Click New on the right to add a new port. Select the COM number of the USB port just now in the second line serial port. For example, COM13. Click New to save, and then close the current interface. Then the set port will appear in the list. If the port is occupied, you can see if the same port is set in the other two functions in the upper left corner. Change it to something else. Then click OK below to save. When the communication lines are all connected and the equipment is normal, click Open Nozzle Serial Port above to open the All Nozzle Communication. Communication is connected normally. The label corresponding to the nozzle will change color. When the nozzle is refueled, it will change to another color. This completes the basic settings in the software. Can be used normally.